It's time again to shake up our governments and most of our media over how we're handling the pandemic in this country. There's too much self-satisfaction. We've been such an overly cautious and risk-averse nation over the past year that generations of Australians will be paying for this. And yes, we've kept the infection toll and death toll remarkably low. Well done. But to repeat a phrase that I've been talking about for a year now, we still seem to be no closer to working out how to live with the virus. Because as the experts have been telling us all along, it's not going away. Improved treatments are great. Vaccines being rolled out are even better. But there's still going to be the disease and we still need to live with it. Yet we seem to be addicted to restrictions and closed borders as the main defence. All we want to do is hide from the disease. It's so bad, our attitude to this is so bad that it didn't even really create much of a fuss yesterday when the health minister said this. Uh, vaccination alone uh, is no guarantee that you can open up. If the whole country were vaccinated, you couldn't just open the borders. Just think about that, would you? We get to a stage where everyone who wants to be vaccinated is vaccinated against coronavirus, but borders are still closed because we don't want to risk the disease coming in. This is over the top. We seem to have decided that keeping coronavirus infections to the bare minimum is the most important thing in the world, the one outcome that trumps all others, even when we have vaccines. Is this more important than jobs and livelihoods, than education? Is it more important than community health and well-being and a functioning society? As a country, we're losing the plot. We should be letting people into the country now so long as they're vaccinated and test negative, keeping our country COVID free is not a workable goal because the costs of doing that, not just the financial and economic costs, but the community and human costs are obviously way too high. Honestly, now there are claims that the rollout of the vaccines in Australia will be slow in this country because of concerns about AstraZeneca. I mean, if you're scared enough as a healthy adult that you want a vaccine to protect you from a one in 1,000 chance that coronavirus will make you gravely ill, then how can you not accept a one in, say, 200,000 chance that you might get some blood clotting problems? Let's just get the vulnerable vaccinated and then open up our borders as quickly as possible and return to something close to normal. We started out preparing to flatten the curve, remember, but in the end, we had no curve to flatten because we so successfully quarantined our international borders. Great. We've had a full year and three months of this pandemic and not even a 1,000 Australians have died either from the virus or with it. Now people want us to stay like this. They want to eliminate all risks from coronavirus and from vaccines. The world is not risk-free. We haven't eliminated cancer or the flu or road deaths. We learn to manage those risks and live sensibly with them. I can't believe that after all we've learned over the past 15 months, we still don't want to work out how to live with the coronavirus. Who's going to bother getting a vaccine in this country when there's zero chance of infection? It's no surprise that the countries where there's a high and rapid vaccine take-up are the countries where there's plenty of coronavirus to catch. We've got to do more than roll out more vaccine. We've got to roll out more common sense.